Just a small update. Uh, you know, got some parts in the mail and thought I'd go over them. Couple of things I already opened, got them in a couple of days ago. Um, most stuff that most people use are my ARP head studs. Um, not really necessary for the power level I'm going with, I just decided to go with them because they were cheaper than OEM. Uh, the OEM aren't torque the yield, so you can use them multiple times, but I've already used mine a couple of times and I figured, you know, better safe than sorry, I might as well just go ahead and replace them. So head studs. Second thing uh, is the first set of um, ALC race bearings. Uh, these are just the rod bearings and they're not the set I necessarily plan to use. They're the, um, what do you call it, 0.025 undersize or oversize. You know, just, just in case I need to play with the clearance a little bit, I have some, uh, you know, I'll have a slightly undersized or slightly oversized bearing if I want if I decide I need to tighten up the clearance on any of the uh, rod journals. And of course the Kometic head gasket. And this guy came in today. Um, by the way, these parts were from Real Street Performance in Orlando. Real quick shipping. Small shout out to them. Uh, this next set of parts are from Fab9. You know, real big and fairly new, but fairly large in the Miata community. Like I said, these parts are from Fab9. Uh, these are the um, ACL race bearings. Uh, these are the crink bearings. The main journal, main bearings, I guess. These are the uh, rod bearings. And then some uh, clivet, or cleavet, however you want to say it, um, thrust bearings. 180 degree thermostat, Gates timing belt, Gates race timing belt, because race car, Gates timing set, and the Gates water pump, because in my opinion it's the only water pump that is that comes close to the OEM quality. And then the big ticket item. Oops, the uh, boundary oil pump. That is swanky. Too bad no one will ever see any of that fancy, uh, that fancy machining and whatnot. So shiny. All right, so this is the Boundary, I believe it's Boundary Engineering, or what do they call it themselves now? Boundary Pump Division. All right, that's strange, but. <clears throat> um, initially, this wasn't money I wanted to spend. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized it's cheap insurance. Um, you know, once you start changing the dynamics of the engine, the harmonics of the engine by going with different pistons or changing the rods and changing the weight of the rotating assembly, uh, you run the chance of uh, creating a situation where the factory harmonic balancer can't keep up. 
Um, in some of those cases, when that does happen, uh, the factory oil pump gears will disintegrate. They'll just shatter. And usually it happens at really high RPM or under really high load. And when you go from really high load to zero oil pressure, uh, bad things happen. Um, you spin bearings, you snap rods, you put holes in blocks. And, you know, that's not something you really want to do, uh, especially if you've put money into the block. So first I thought about just going with the gear set they sell. Uh, basically they sell a, um, a billet gear set that you put inside of your factory pump. Um, and it's fairly reasonable. Problem with that is, is that sometimes the gear set isn't, um, doesn't quite fit right. You know, there's some spacing, there's some, um, what's that word? Clearances you have to make sure are correct um, when doing that. And I just didn't really want to dick with that. Uh, the second thing is I wanted a higher flow fuel pump. Um, and the only option for a high flow fuel pump with uh, this engine is uh, to either go with a later model pump, um, 2001 or higher. Uh, the problem with that is they're hard to find and the OEM ones are really expensive. Um, so ultimately that led to my decision to just go ahead and buy a complete unit, a complete uh, stage two pump from Boundary. Because the more I thought about it, the more I didn't want to, you know, send this block out, have it machined and have all this work done to it, you know, only to have the old pump blow up on me and wreck everything because chances are it would take the rods with it, it would take the block with it, it would probably damage the head, and I'd be starting from square one. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, the block is still out at the machine shop. Um, they said it'll probably be about two to three weeks. We're going on week two right now. Um, maybe they'll call me tomorrow, who knows. Uh, it doesn't really matter because I still don't have all the parts. Um, not really waiting for a whole lot else uh, to come in, just gaskets and um, pilot bearing and throw out bearing for the clutch. Uh, probably gonna make a list of things I need to go over. There's a few things I want to do to the, the car itself before I put the engine back in, clean up the bay a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Just, uh, just waiting. <laughs>